Today's video is going to be an interesting one, so make sure you do buckle up and grab some popcorn for it. There are a few ways to become a known player on Hypixel Skyblock, and one of them is either being a YouTuber or being one of the wealthiest players on the server. Since the beginning of 2019, when Skyblock was first released, there has always been that one richest player. Whether they become the richest player from IRL trading, which is real life trading money for coins, or they have become the richest by just playing the game. It does have a very interesting past, and that's why in today's video, we will be going over the history of the richest Skyblock player. This all takes place back in 2019, when Skyblock was first released. This person was the richest player in Skyblock, and he was actually the first person to obtain 1 billion coins. His name has not been said in a very long time, but he goes by the name of Supermore. If you are not a long-time Skyblock player, you probably don't recognize his name. His name became popular by doing a lot of dragons. At the time, this was the best way to make money as almost every single dragon piece was profit. In today's day of Skyblock though, dragons no longer make money, as the supply of dragon armor has just risen significantly. And if you don't understand what supply and demand is, it's actually pretty simple. The demand for dragon armor has been the same, but because of players doing so many dragons over the past year, it's just completely flooded the market with a huge supply of dragon armor. And because of the demand being not very high anymore, the price simply just dropped because nobody wants to buy it anymore. Okay, so I'm already interrupting the video, but that's because it's a good reason and a good cause. I just really want to say thank you all so much for the support recently, and we are so close to 50,000 subscribers. So if you would like to help me out to reaching 50k subs by the end of this month, please consider subscribing. It is free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you decide to not like my content anymore. And one last thing is that I actually do have a second channel for extra videos, so make sure after you watch the video, go into the description, and then you can go ahead and subscribe subscribe to my second channel. Anyways, let's get back to the story on Supermore. So how did his journey begin? It kind of began like everyone else's playthrough in Skyblock, simply starting off and just doing the early game things, such as going to the deep caverns for the first time, mining some auras, doing some farming, foraging, and even unlocking minion slots. But then August 2nd of 2019, almost a full year ago, the end update was finally out and it introduced the new dragon boss. He was actually one of the first few players to actually start grinding dragons. And little did he know that a few hundred dragons later, he would be the richest player of Skyblock. Alright, so what I'm trying to do now is I'm currently actually in game. But I want to try finding out his auction stats or like his auction history because obviously he had a billion coins so he must have made a lot of money from dragons. So I either want to try finding out his auction stats or see how many dragons he actually did and I'm going to be trying to do this with this new mod I actually got called Skyblock Extras. So pretty much if we type slash SB help. We get like this whole list of commands and you can pretty much see like a bunch of different things. Like you can see someone's skills, someone's slayers, and then AH stats. So let's try this out. So firstly, let's do slash AH stats zap lol, which is my IGN of course. I'm just going to show you how it works because you know, why not? So pretty much there is a past auctions and it shows me all of my past auctions. And then there's another thing, past purchases, which are the things that I've bid on obviously. So let's try this out for super more. Alright, super more boom. So it's finding the data, and if we go to past auctions, th there's nothing here. And then if we go to past purchases, there's one thing, and that's a bone, and it ended about seven months ago. So he bought something seven months ago, which is kind of interesting, and there's actually no, like, information on him at all in any of the auction stats. So I think there's another way we can possibly check his auction history, so let's head over to the auction website. So I'm on this website called High Auctions, and it's basically like an auction house, like, I guess, stats thing, and you can view other items and prices and all that. So if we search the name Super More and search, you can see that his past purchases are just that one piece of bone that he gave someone like 1.6 mil. And if we go to past auctions, there's absolutely nothing. And then statistics... There's nothing from his previous history, it's just that one singular bone. Just to double check, I'm gonna go ahead and search my in-game name because I wanna see- Okay, yes, it does work, see? We have the past purchases and then past auctions and then statistics, you can see right here. So as you can see, there is literally no auction history on Supermore. And I think I know the reason for this, and it's because these mods and auction websites actually came out after he quit Skyblock. 
Oh yeah, that's kind of a spoiler. He actually did quit Skyblock, but that'll be another part of the video, so stay tuned for that. But basically what I mean is that by the time you quit, none of these mods or auction websites were actually out. So that means it couldn't really track anything before the mods came out. So that's why we can't really view any of his auction histories or any of his previous dragons. I actually tried to reach out to Supermore himself, but I didn't really get a response. He probably just didn't know it was my Discord. But after looking at his runecrafting XP and doing a little bit of research, I'm going to estimate that he did about a thousand dragons, probably a lot more, honestly. Now, you actually get runecrafting EXP for when you kill a dragon, so that's why I said he killed roughly a thousand dragons dragons, but I may be wrong of course, it could be way more than I predicted. I already spoiled it, but Supermore did quit Skyblock, so I'll get into this story next. If Supermore truly did over thousands of dragons, then he probably had some of the best gear. In order to really profit on dragons, you need to have high placements, which requires really high damage. And because of him being so rich, he probably had the best gear, so he probably did the best damage possible. Skyblock dragons are very unique, as it's never been seen in a Minecraft game mode before, the fact of having over 20 players in a fight using different weapons, armor, and different types of metas can really make the game challenging. Every week somebody came up with a new good way to fight a dragon, and because of Supermore having all of this money, he was actually able to adapt and change to any new metas that came out, so it kind of kept him at his throne as the richest player. It kind of shows though that in order to make money in Skyblock, you kind of need to have money. Being super rich might seem good and all, but just wait until you hear this. Because of Supermore having the best gear in the game, he was able to do the most amount of damage on every single dragon fight. And because of this, people would no longer want to party with him when they were placing summoning eyes. Basically, to spawn a dragon, you need to place down 8 summoning eyes, and in order to profit you must find other players to place eyes as well because if you're placing eight eyes you're not going to be getting a lot of loot so you're just going to lose money. Supermore went from doing hundreds of dragons a week to only a couple a day and it actually got to the point where he could basically no longer even find people to place with because everyone would dodge him. And this leads us right to when and why Supermore quit Skyblock. He was no longer able to do dragons consistently and that was one of the main things everyone enjoyed about Skyblock. Let alone it was the thing that made Supermore rich. But but yeah, he quit, and he actually did something that will never be forgotten in all of Hypixel Skyblock history. He didn't just quit, he gave away all of his items and coins. It's sad to see such a well-known player quit, but I guess all good things do come to an end. Wow, that did sound really depressing. Anyways, as I did say, he gave away all of his items and coins, and he actually gave away his 1 billion coins to 5 different Skyblock players. You probably know these people as some of them are actually YouTubers, but he gave away 200 mil to every single one of them. He gave it to Pigashul, AgroMC, Dragonboy, Bad69, and Rocketman7878. So that was the end. He gave away all of his items and coins, and I guess he's planning on never returning. This was the story of the richest player in Skyblock. Please drop a like because I need to buy a new chair. My chair literally broke and I'm sitting on the floor.